Hey, beautiful tribe. I wanted to come on and share um, oh, some of the processes that are going on that you might relate to. I had another what I call a spiritual tantrum <laughs> on Monday um, while I was driving and it just helps get my angst out and my frustration that I might be feeling. So it was interesting that that had another culmination because that happened on the solstice. And now here it happened again, close to this um, configuration that's unique um, with Jupiter and Pisces and Neptune doing some kind of dance together, which doesn't happen but every couple hundred years. And it just so happens that this one is in Pisces. So um, I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but I was noticing that I was kind of like really like fantasizing about mother, father, God having more of a um, assertive, righteous anger to put a, an end to some of this stuff, you know, and it's just, it's all playing out and it's, you know, there's just so many moving parts to getting us into the Aquarian age and there's a lot that's getting um, rounded up and taken out and purged and all that and, you know, we're we're a way farther along in that process than we were years a couple of years ago so <clears throat> I'm grateful and it it's just a process you know and so I've noticed it's been a bit challenging for me to hang in there um, because I think a lot of us who have known what's been going on in, behind the scenes that the news doesn't cover and so we get it through YouTube channels that are designed for it or telegram or signal or whatever you know that you where you can talk freely and, and the, the news the real news can come out um, <clears throat> it's hard to almost like I was telling my friends that like I have to psych myself in right now and for a long time actually in my life like to almost distract myself into just being able to function here because when you know what really going on and what we've suffered and I actually really got a, a strong sense of wow we've been through so much and I almost can't even look at my own life as a whole because it's overwhelming you know what I have suffered honestly um, tra been traumatized by and um, it's you know it's enough to make you depressed and it's just so tragic in some ways and I was like saying, I have to psych myself into being here because, you know, there's a part of me that doesn't want to be here. Like, I'm over this. I'm so over 3D matrix. And when you know that it's a 3D matrix and you're so ready to go into 5D and to better living and what we were actually divinely um, designed to experience, you know, more of the heaven on earth and, and the... The intention behind bringing us here was so much brighter than what ended up happening because we got hijacked by, um, you know, people who are pretty selfish, honestly, and they, you know, use us for their means. But it's all kind of covert and, you know, under the scenes where people don't really see it clearly until now it's all getting exposed and that's why the masses are kind of waking up to the truth, but it's not an easy truth to wake up to. So I was really invoking, you know, a lot of support and good news and positive things happening to balance out the negative things that are coming in around the reality of what we've lived. You know, living in a debt society that's a slave society. Um, a lot of you are like, what? I don't feel that way. Well, um, it's meant to be a lot better, you know, where people's basic needs are met and we don't have starvation anywhere or, you know, debt or, um, you know, such high taxes and such inflation and, um, you know, where the medical field's messed up and, you know, even our air, food and water have all been sabotage to some degree right and it's just on and on and on and it, it's um it's a little bit much so anyway I had 
one of those tantrums, um, but it helps me release that information and it also makes the powers that be in, 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 the, in the positive realm start going to action more too because we do have to ask them to do these things and help us otherwise they won't infringe on our free will. And there is a lot of power in invoking because we do have that divine um, principle within us where we can invoke what we want to see happen and that's super powerful to manifest what we want in this world. So that's our little piece that we contribute, you know, because otherwise I, I admitted to the universe, I was like, I feel helpless to come up against, you know, the medical system and the political system and the this and that system, you know, I'm just one person and I'm, I feel compromised, you know, I, I'm still recovering from COVID and my health, it seems like there's always stuff to deal with there and you know, I can only do so much and, you know, I'm one of those ones that's feeling a bit weary and at this point in time because um, so certain things are supposed to arrive that haven't yet and they get delayed and it's just like, God, I'm just really trying to hang in there as best I can. But I said, I don't know if I can do this without some serious intervention. So <laughs> anyway, if you're feeling that way, just know that you have the power to do the same. And you can have a spiritual tantrum too. And what's beautiful about the unconditional love of the divine universe is that they don't judge that at all. They know that you need, they actually, I feel like sometimes they're actually waiting for me to get mad enough to speak up, you know, and just to invoke these things. Because there's, when there's a lot of emotion behind what you're praying for and invoking, then it's much more powerful and energized and activated. So, um, yeah, and then the other thing that I, I did is I was the impetus for, or the spark for creating this situation where a handful of us came together during that night of the Jupiter, Pisces, Neptune, um, good energy constellation. And we did a bunch of invoking together around the fire. And we also did like a hands-on healing for one of our friends who, um, you know, had to leave a relationship because he's using substances too much and was being a bit verbally abusive. And a lot of us have been there and done that. I know I'm one of them. Um, and it's just tragic, you know, to have to leave a relationship where there's so much potential and there's so much love there. But, you know, if one of them decides to go down the wrong path and you have to bail, and she was just really torn up about it. So we gathered around her and laid hands on her and prayed for her. And um, so I think, you know, that's the way they did it back in the biblical times is I think they came together and they prayed together because when there's two or more gathered, it just exponentializes the um, energy of bringing about what we want to manifest. And I think healing can happen a lot faster too. It was the actual only thing that worked when I went through a health crisis uh, years ago, I finally just was like, I think I need to just do this like old style, the way the Bible did. And I asked my spiritual community to come around me and, you know, they can lay hands on you and pray um, and send that energy of intention for wholeness and healing. And I actually physically felt it happen. And I was fine after that. And so, just a reminder, you know, and I think we're supposed to come together in these times and pray for our planet and play, pray for our leadership and pray for ourselves and our community so we can get through this faster, right? I was a missionary actually in 1991 to Russia um, from California with, a, with an international group where we performed and shared, you know, spiritual principles and one of the things that struck me the most in that experience, because it, it just felt so powerful, because we came in, we were led to go there, and it was right before the leader stepped down and right before Estonia got its independence. So we were, those were the two main things we focused on um, manifesting. 
and that they asked us about you know do you think we'll ever get our independence again and do you you know what do you think about our leader and I said pray about it you know pray what you want <clears throat> and it that's what brings it about and we did bring it about because it boom both things happened after we put our presence there and and um, our devotion to that country and so the one of the main things that stood out to me in that experience is sometimes we were actually more effective coming together and praying or invoking um, for the country that that was almost more effective than us being feet on the ground doing our performances and of course we did both it was a mixture of both but <clears throat> I think that the tendency of the workaholic is to probably oh we should go out and perform as much as we can where wherever we can you know like because we went to the hospital and did it we did the, went to the school the orphanage the prison the town square and all that and that's awesome but you um we also kind of were aware when we needed to rest and just take a day off and not be constantly go 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 all the time and then we found that you know when we would just come together and pray and do it that way that it was really fast and effective so it's a good reminder um, that sometimes our to-do list can look a million miles long and we don't necessarily have to do everything on the list it's more like praying over the list and allowing things to take care of themselves sometimes and then just doing the steps that we feel actually led to do each day by tuning in and listening and uh, yeah just letting the, that gut feeling lead you know so anyway that's my share for today and I'll look forward to seeing you again soon